Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor again, and huh? Huh? Hey, it's 3D Printed. Maybe you did too good a job. So yeah, it's a 3D printed tie. And I'm not the first person to come up with a 3D printed tie. I'm not the first person to wear one, certainly. And especially not one, there are other 3D print ties you can get that are similar to this one in style and they diagonal striped. But the other ones used materials that I wasn't able to get a hold of. It wasn't until I saw somebody wearing a wooden tie that I realized the trick is just to run a piece of elastic through it on both sides, down one side and up the other. This elastic is super easy to get a hold of. I had some of it lying around the house and then you get your 3D printed tie. The trick is to print it at a diagonal and rapidly, or not rapidly, but frequently change the filament colors as you go to give it a striped tie look. And you might notice that the knot here is going a different direction than the rest of it. That's intentional because with a real tie, the stripes go a different direction. So when you're printing this one, one, stop the stripes at about the halfway mark. This creates a rather large band on there, but it means that you won't have some strange errant stripes on the, the knot. Two, have a plan for when you're going to change your filament and don't print all of them at once. Print two or three at once. This is a large job. A full print of it would take me about 12 hours and if something failed, that's a lot of material and a lot of filament changing to have lost. So let me show you how to assemble it. So here it is, all printed out, smoothed out, looking all pretty. Piece of elastic to string it all together and the two end pieces. Let's string it all together. So I'm gonna start by clipping off the fray on the end of this piece of elastic. Then flip over the piece so I can see. I wanna go through the longer side first on this first one. There we go. Shove it on through and shove it on through the bottom. Go. Oop. Then take the next piece, shove it through the one at the top, and through the one at the bottom, and then repeat for the entire length of the tie going down. Okay. Alright, then when you get to the bottom, bring the elastic across. So cool how they go together like that. Uh, bring the elastic across and make it as tight as you can and through this groove. That should work fine. And then back up. Then pull the ends tight. Okay. Again, I'm gonna cut the fray off of this side here. And then I'm going to string it up one side, down the other. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Up one side the other. You want these when they intersect to be small enough generally to go all the way around your neck. You don't want there to be too much slack around here. Uh, you also don't want it to be too tight. So use your judgment. Maybe even measure something. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and string the other end here. Then do a, a tight knot. Okay, so that's one side. And these are gonna be able to slide, but then once they get a little bit of tension, they're gonna stop. So we want to do the same to the other side. 
And I'm not going to clip these ends off until I've tested it around my neck to make sure that I didn't make it too tight or too loose. But I'm going to tie it off right now. And all right, let's try it on, see how it works. And there you go, your own cool 3D printed tie. You know, this design went through a couple of different iterations. The first iteration, I just printed two parts and I wanted to make sure that it would work and it didn't because I didn't make the holes tight enough. The next iteration, I made the holes bigger, but I discovered an interesting problem. That when I strung it together with the elastic and pulled it tight, because of the gap, uh, the little bit of give in the holes, the elastic pulled it so it was at uh, kind of a skew like this. So to fix that, the third iteration of the design, I moved the holes, and, and you can't really see them, you have to look closely at the design, but I moved the holes a little bit this direction, a little bit that direction, counter to the pull, and see the result right here. It's really a conversation piece. People have already said, oh, that's cool. You wanna know the even cooler part about this one? This one glows into dark, which isn't gonna turn up on the camera, but if it did, the blue and then this stripe down the middle here does is made out of glow-in-the-dark plastic so how cool is that if you'd like to get your own 3d printed tie i will post this design uh, online the link will be wherever links are found happy printing uh, as usual there's simon remember to like subscribe share and enjoy and i'll see you next time